room. We thank you for another day. Thank you for the time we count for to come to together for good judgments on all our decisions. We thank you for the strength to come. We ask these things in the precious name. Amen. Amen. Roll call. Curtis Snell. Chris Soap. Here. Bill Anglin. Bill John Baker. Here. Jack Baker. Here. Harley Buzzard. Here. Julia Coates. Here. Brad Cobb. Here. Joe Crittenden. Here. Jody Fishinghawk. Here. Meredith Brady. Janelle Fulbright. Don Garvin. Chuck Hoskins. Here. Conagora Jordan. Present. David Thornton. Caracal Watts. John Masters. Who? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Got a little housekeeping on the uh, agenda. We've got the approval of the minutes, and it appears that uh, there was a section that was left out for the April, it says 14th, subcommittee council house planning and development minutes. And that actually, uh, on the minutes, it says the 15th at 2.40 p.m., To confirm that these are the, the uh, minutes that are intended to be approved. Let's approve. We have a second. I'll second. Okay. Move has been made to approve the housekeeping and uh, the approval of the minutes for the April 14th, 15th, and 18th, seconded by Mr. Baker. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Minutes are approved. All right, we have reports and first reporting. Yes, sir. I uh, got a bit of business here. I need to bring up and amend the uh, the agenda for today. Uh, okay. I believe uh, you have in front of you a resolution that just came out today or yesterday or for last Friday. I'm not sure when it came out. But uh, what I understand, this needs to go to full council tonight because. Uh, of the funding issues with EPA, and those are always coming in late. The other one is the, uh, no, I believe it's on the uh, resolution to go to full council. So this is the only one I need to amend the agenda to okay. the resolution on. Okay, we have a motion to amend the agenda to include a uh, resolution that uh, talks about a formal grant application to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency for an Indian General Assistance Program, a GAP grant package. Yes. And we have a second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor of amending the agenda to include this resolution say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. The agenda has been amended. Number five to uh, discuss this resolution. All right. We have the reports, natural resources. Angela Drews, our representative. Uh, Mrs. Drews couldn't be here today, so I'll fill in for her and hit some of the highlights. Um, there has been 24 site inspections done uh, for the previous month. Um, looks like natural resources staff is pretty busy with uh, all of the rains and the flooding. The uh, staff hauled water to the Salina Clinic for a broken water main due to the flood. Uh, they took four pallets to the clinic and two to the fire department. Uh, they also repaired some fences damaged by the flood. Um, for their Gaudigi projects for the month, uh, they plowed 60 gardens for Cherokee citizens in Adair County. Uh, and moved a gooseneck trailer to the Oak Hill for gospel singing. Um, I'm afraid that's about all I've got for that. Um, I do have a uh, something to tell the council about. Just a quick memo here. Uh, on May the 9th, President Bush approved 23 counties in Oklahoma for federal disaster assistance for cities and counties that were hard hit by severe spring storms occurring between April the 9th and the 28th. Uh, earlier in the week, he also approved uh, the same kind of assistance for 13 counties in Oklahoma for uh, the March flooding that occurred between March 17th and the 23rd. Um, some of the counties that will be affected by this are Adair, Delaware, Rogers, Sequoia, Wagner, 
Mays, McIntosh, and Muskogee. Now this is public assistance, not individual assistance. So it will not be to individuals out there, just for the government agencies. Well, I know that, uh, at least for Mays County, I'm sure all the other counties, any type of assistance has been greatly appreciated. So um, I don't know if the, if the response was within your expectations or not, <laughs> but uh, we much appreciate that. And thanks for the feedback. Uh, Councilor mm -hmm. Buzzard? Yes, uh, David, I would like to request a guy do the project up in Delaware County. Sure. Delaware County? It's uh, <laughs> over in our Oak Hill community. We have a community building over there. And, we, uh, and it has to do with culture. Uh, they've had some ground pushed off, but it's really unlevel, unstable. Sure. We'd like to get uh, somebody to go in there and level it up for us to uh, make it smoother. What they want to do is have a stomp fence ground there. Okay. So I'd like to request that. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions for David? Okay, thank you for your report. Thank you. Next we have uh, real estate services, uh, Ms. Donaldson. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I think I didn't have very much of my report that got reported in there. I think we were just saying that we um, Went to training. We went to the National Realty Conference in uh, Denver. It was very informative. Um, I just wish they'd have more out. Every time you go to these things, they say, these are coming. Well, we're wishing that we'll be here someday. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. Uh, we're also working with the health department on a real estate tax issue in that the, the Muskogee Clinic was rated at $219,000 a year for taxes. So we're trying to see if we can't get that into an exempt status. And uh, the county is willing to work with us. They're just saying that they need to have something that's really good proof that says you are exempt. And so we're working on that basis with the Attorney General's office to come up with a brief that shows that we shouldn't have to pay taxes. And if we come up with something really good, I'm going to go to some of these other counties where we are paying taxes on clinics and get those off too. That's one way to work on some of that. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to report on, and I understand that um, Melody Knight may have told you already that the Roland Casino 3.519 acres that was uh, a parking lot has been put into trust. That was done on Thursday. We filed it on Friday so that our, our trust deed is of record. So we finally gotten one after, uh, I think that one was started in the year 2000. So it took eight years for that one. Uh, we also are working on a Park Hill 45 acres that's off of Willis Road and it's kind of across from the Heritage Center. Uh, that one was published in the Telephone Press on May 2nd. That was a 30-day notice of the intent to take that one into trust. And if there's no objections, after June 2nd, probably within about three weeks, we should see a trust deed on that one. Uh, the patent property that's the 6282 intersection up here uh, on May the 5th the regional director um, she sent a recommendation to take that parcel into trust to the uh, central office in Washington DC so if all goes well on that we may see that in trust before the end of the year so these things are finally starting to move and we're happy to see some of that the tribal complex too which includes the council house the warehouse, motel, the roads department, that environmental is currently being reviewed and if that is approved, we may see a trust deed on that before October 1st. So we're hoping that we'll at least get part of the complex in trust this fiscal year. Uh, the other one has a small issue and uh, I think we're closing in on that. We're needing a closure document on the lagoons to finish the environmental uh, document on that one. And as to the Katusa truck stop, that environmental is almost completed. And once that's approved at the Bureau, we should be able to get a publication of the 30-day notice and get that one into trust. And, uh, and then on the Ross Road Mandatory Trust, we're also getting a revised environmental on that. And once that's submitted and approved, that should be taken into trust fairly rapidly. So uh, that's seven of our trust packages that we've been working on, some of them for years, some of them as long as 12 years ago, and we're finally going to see some resolution hopefully this year. 
So uh, otherwise, it may be the end of the year, but it, it looks it's it's looking good at this point. So um, that's all I had to report. Did anybody have any questions? Yes, uh, Councilor Anglin with a question. Uh, thank you, Mr. Linda. Where are we at on the Will Rogers Dam Trust? That has some still some issues, and uh, they have the CNE is holding back on that at the current time until the, they get some stuff worked out. Well, there was a little environmental problems at one time, so uh, we would like to have that cleared up before it's, it's ever presented. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions for Ms. Donaldson? I have a question. Okay. Uh, I had a uh, citizen re request uh, and it involved the cemetery where the, that uh, a nonprofit group uh, years ago had came in and uh, uh, placed documents for the county commissioner to, to rename a cemetery. <coughs> and they were curious on what needs to happen to be able to uh, rename it something else. And so. If, if it's if it's done at the uh, if they did that through the courthouse if they mm -hmm. did a patent they just need to go and do some paperwork at the courthouse and get okay, it done so through the county commissioners basically or the county clerk the uh, county clerk's office and it's just uh, could you kind of elaborate on that process just a little bit or it's that it's they would be able to, to show them the paperwork to get okay. it renamed okay. uh, mr. chair okay. Councilor Clamore okay. Federal Building. That one we're still working on. They had told us that after we got the 790 acres uh, finally given to us, you know, once they published that and gave it to us, which they did, that they would work next on the federal building. And so we're looking to see when we can get that now. Thank you. Okay. Any more questions of Ms. Donald? Right, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, next on the agenda, we have roads and transportation. Michael Lynn. Good afternoon. Hello. I'll uh, report real briefly on the uh, federal projects we've got going and then get into some travel projects we got coming forth this month. Uh, first of all, in Mays County, the Cedar Crest Road and Bridge project that we've been working on for a long, quite some time. I talked to the commissioner last week and uh, he is uh, going to get with, well, let me back up a second. We got received a letter from the uh, individual that we're, one of the individuals we're dealing with on the, around the bridge area and on the road as well. We received a letter from an attorney uh, stating that all, all further correspondence needs to be directed through, through his attorney and not to be dealing with him any longer. I, I took that as a, as a need to go to the next step, which would be condemnation. I discussed it with the uh, uh, county commissioner last week to see if he concurred and he wanted to uh, he wanted to get us to get some kind of answer back from the attorney to find out if that in fact was where it was heading and if so he was ready to proceed so uh, with that being said when if if it does go to condemnation there'll be two two individual landowners that will, will go uh, that direction there's another landowner up on the road that uh, is wanting a lot more for their property than, than what uh, we feel it's worth and we've made additional offers for to them and uh, they just haven't accepted our, our offers as well as uh, any of the other negotiation factors that we've offered them. Uh, on Daytown Dry Creek in Delaware County, that job is pro progressing very well uh, with the weather and everything that they've had up there. Uh, they are working in the Kansas area, installing sidewalks and paved ditches in that area, uh, repairing some driveways that were, were torn out to, uh, during the waterline relocation that occurred in that area, as well as moving on down into uh, the finishing up phase two and working into phase three of that project. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it is progressing very well. Uh, Fairview Uchi project, I hope that I didn't have to mention this again because it had, uh, we did final that project out, but with the recent rains that we've had, uh, we've had two uh, roadway failures in that, in that particular road. We are working with the contractor who built the, uh, constructed the project, and they are working with us uh, very well, actually, uh, to try to get in and get that road repaired. One, one of the areas is a, right in the center line of the road, right in the middle of the yellow stripe. The other one is on the edge of the road where uh, this, the ditch or the slope has, has given way and caused a sway in the asphalt. The other one in the center line of the road, we, we know what happened there, was a, uh, a cross pipe. There's a drainage pipe right underneath that road. Uh, it's concrete pipe, and those are fitted together with a gasket. Uh, the, the 
bedding underneath the pipe has given way and caused the road to uh, to buckle in that area. But they are willing to come in there and uh, and work with us, uh, work it out, work with us, and get the things repaired. We're just working out the details right now. They had an on-site meeting on that last week, and uh, our, our we're, we're planning on getting it fixed now. Uh, the Red Barn Road project here in Cherokee County is, is progressing, although slowly. The uh, their actual con the contract time expired on that May 1st. Uh, we've got a request from the contractor for an additional uh, 120 days. Uh, we have not. Uh, I responded to that request today. We had a meeting at 2 o'clock this afternoon with the with the end. Uh, Construction company. Uh, I responded and, and awarded or uh, offered an additional 45 days on the contract, plus eight weather days for a total of 53 days uh, in response to their 120. Of course, that was not what they wanted. I expect them to come back with another uh, offer, and we'll take it from there. But nothing yet been decided, although they are continuing to work out there. Uh, Barber Road here in Cherokee County is under design. We're uh, in, a, in the late stages of design on that, we are waiting on the environmental to be completed, and we will start at right away acquisition on that just as soon as the right away or the environmental is completed. And then uh, Cookson Overlay, that's an, a re rehabilitation project for the Cherokee County portion of Cookson Road or Blue Top Road, some people refer to it as. Uh, that's an eight and a half mile job. It's a, again, it's just an overlay. Uh, we've got a couple of areas where we're, uh, about a 4,000 foot section that we will be reconstructing because of a base failure. And then we've got a, a pipe that's rusted out that uh, we'll also be replacing uh, because of a failure there. But uh, that, road, that project I expect to be bid out within the next 30 days. So that'll be coming really quick. Uh, be a big, good, big job, eight and a half mile job that'll lead up to from uh, uh, the intersection up at uh, all around the Cookson Smokehouse area, uh, all the way to the Sequoia County line. Uh, and then lastly, I want to mention the Casino Interchange Project. We have got our uh, MOUs uh, and contracts all signed with ODOT, uh, CNE, and Cherokee Nation has all, uh, uh, that contract has been executed. Uh, and all we like now is making the contribution from the tribe towards that project. That'll be a $6 million contribution among the other contributions that we've made in the past as well as some right-of-way donations that CNE was providing uh, for the project to take place. So that'll be, that'll be coming up fairly quick. Uh, and then I want to mention some uh, uh, tribally funded projects uh, that will be coming to Executive Finance Committee this month. We've got a Lost City Road uh, that's sponsored by uh, uh, Councilperson Gloria, Councilperson Baker in, in Cherokee County for, uh, well, I don't have a total, I've got 88949 for uh, one and 88950 for the other. Uh, I've got, Can uh, I withdraw mine? That's not going to be in my district anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> too late. Uh, I've got two in Washington County. I've got a Durham Road or West 1600 Road, also known as, sponsored by Council, Councilperson Anglin, Councilperson Cobb, uh, uh -huh. for a total of $100,000. It's $50,000 apiece. And then Bridge 124 around the Ramona area, sponsored by Councilperson Anglin, for $36,631, and then uh, an overlay in the town of Foyle uh, in Rogers County, sponsored by uh, Councilperson Cowan Watts, for $60,606. So we've got those coming forward this month. And maybe more, it just depends on if they make, make the cutoff or not, but that's what we have, know of to date. All right. That concludes my report, and I'll be glad to answer any questions. Sure. Uh, Councilman Bowman. Yeah, Michael. Uh, you mentioned the Cedar Crest Bridge. Are you going to go ahead and do the Cedar Crest Road before you do the bridge, or is it? Right now, we're expecting to let them both at the same time. When they do you are. have all, everything done on the Cedar Crest Road? No, we've got one landowner there that we're that's giving us problems. What about you? Didn't mention the Rice Water Project. Where are you on the condemnation? The uh, condemnation has been filed. Uh, we're waiting word back on uh, from the county commissioner and the district attorney. Uh, the condemnation was filed. And they had a a 30-day waiting period, which ended April 24th was the date. And uh, we're waiting to hear back from the, from that date whether he the the landowner uh, was was going to protest or appeal the valuation. Haven't heard back on that, but we have started moving some utilities that we can relocate. There's a big power transmission line that we have already relocated, so things are moving out there, although slowly. But once we uh, uh, 
once we get the final word back that the condemnation has taken place, then we will begin removing all utilities. Uh, one more question. Uh, okay. On the Kenwood overlay, uh, Michael, has a decision been made on the bridge from that particular event? No, they have not. No. They have not. Okay. Thank you. Councilor Gordon. Yes, on that Joe's Red Barn Road, yes, you're having some problems. They've run over the time. Yes. What does the contract say when they run over the time? Contract states that once a, t a contract time has expired, that uh, we'll go into liquidated damages. Uh, and why are we doing? Um, I don't even know who the contractor is, but contracts, are contracts. Sure, sure. Why is it we're negotiating? Is there something unusual that's happened on it? There is. There's been a. Uh, there's been a lot of delays, be uh, because of utilities. There's been delays on weather. Uh, Last summer we were in a drought situation and they had trouble getting water uh, and without water they really can't do a lot of work. They've got to have a lot of moisture into the subgrade, into the rock. Uh, there's been a lot of delays and it has been an unusual project. I do feel like we're at our wits end. Uh, we've, 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 dug, we've given them a couple of extensions to date. Um, the reason that, we, that I justified the 45 day extension in response to their 120-day request was because of some overruns that we're going to have on uh, some quantities. We, uh, the borrow, for instance, uh, is, is borrow dirt is, ha is going to overrun a, uh, a, uh, past what we anticipated in the project design. Uh, some pa ditch liner, paved ditch where, uh, we, for ditch uh, protection, we're having to overrun some of that because of the, the soil out there is not stable enough to to hold the amount of water that's flowing through the ditches, so we're going to have to overrun some of the paved ditch, ditches. So when we when we go beyond what was originally uh, planned or designed, it's only fair in my mind to give them additional time for those over uh, those uh, extra work is what it is. So I've, I've had several constituents that have called me about when that road's going to be completed because it's it's been in. Construction, it seems like forever. I can tell you exactly how long. <laughs> About two years and eight months. And how long was it that it, they had to fulfill the obligation of their contract? In the beginning, they had 467 days. So, so just a little, about a year and a quarter. So they're a year past their finished date yes. already? Yes. <coughs> yes. And has what portion of the contract money has been appropriated to them? Uh, I assume you give the contract money to them on a certain percentage. Oh yes, of yes, yes. Well, it's 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 not on completion necessarily. It's on uh, what's been put in place or installed. So uh, we only pay for what the material has gone on the ground. So the percentage of money that we still have is enough to finish the road. Oh yes. Total yes, most right most definitely. And on top of that, to to ease your mind, we do retain 10% of each payment. So we have a retainage there. Uh, on hand, uh, that uh, that is rightfully the contractor once the once the project is complete and accepted. So we do have a retainage on hand. Is there a warranty provided for yes. a year? Yes, there's a one year one year maintenance warranty. Yes. Is that all, Councilor? Any other questions, for Mr. Lee? No further questions. Uh, we've got public comments on road issues. Are there any public comments? I think he's doing a bang up job. Okay. Duly noted. <laughs> Thank you. No public comments on roads or issues. We've got the uh, construction and facilities report. David Roberts. I'm going to fill in for David Roberts again. Just doing for somebody else. Uh, let's see. Some of the accomplishments for our. Uh, Marcoma Girls Dorm renovation, um, the uh, finishing of the heating and uh, air conditioning is looks like it's done. The ceiling tile to be installed is about 98% complete. Uh, they are about 30% complete with the Marcoma Boys Dorm renovation. They're working on the roof, windows, and the plumbing. Um, the Marcoma Gym, about 70% complete. Uh, and the powwow grounds, the sewer system is near completion. As of the 28th, the pump for the uh, sewer was supposed to be in in three weeks, which that's supposed to be sometime this week. 
I am not sure if they're on schedule with that or not, but assuming it comes in this week, that will give them three weeks to get it installed. So before the uh, employee picking it comes up on June the 7th. So uh, that's about all I have for that one. Are there any questions on it? Any questions for Dave? No questions. Thank you for your report. Thank you. Moving on to environmental programs, uh, Mr. Tom Elkins. Sure. Good afternoon, folks. Good afternoon. Uh, I know you all have a written report, so I won't go through every bit of it. I will just comment that, like on our environmental reviews, lead-based paint and radon activities, it looks like we've got 100% of our annual go, and we do, and those need to be revised a little bit. A little misleading is the radon. Most of that work's being done through the winter time, so we're really finishing up on that. In fact, we. If we do any more on that, it'll surprise me, but you know that's just something that we do through the winter months. Uh, some of the highlights, you might have already heard that we got a Brownfields grant to work on the Saline Courthouse, and that's just a portion of the money that we're gonna, we think we're going to get for that. We've applied, and we're trying to leverage funds with some other areas to get some more money to, to work on that. Um, there isn't a whole lot more there. You can go through that yourself if you'd like to. Um, we are on target, if you'd like to know, at the landfill for the 30-day compliance issues that they had, and they're on target for that. Uh, um, we anticipate they'll be through on their compliance issues uh, in the next two months. Most of them will be 90 days, and that'll uh, carry a lot of the things that they need to get up to speed on, and then it'll just be a matter of uh, some of the other issues that they've got going. But those are the main compliance issues, and we'll keep you up to speed on those. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Any questions for Mr. L? Council Bell. Tom, on this Brownfield grant, is that is that specifically for the courthouse now? Uh, yes, sir. That's another grant for the spring house now to renovate that. Uh, I believe Ms. Cruz did through some other area. Now that particular one I've got, we've got on there, is just for the courthouse. Yes, sir. Thank you. Right. Any other questions for Mr. Elkins regarding environmental programs? Thank you. Thank you. Don't go too far. We've got some okay. other legislation <laughs> that we might have you back up here. Okay. Uh, that should conclude our report section. Uh, under old business, there is none. So moving on to new business. Under new business, we have item uh, one on the agenda, which is a resolution authorizing the submission for a proposal to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency for a Cherokee-led certification accreditation program. And uh, it's in your packet. It's a short uh, resolution. Uh, do you have anything to add on this, Mr. Elkins? Uh, just one thing that we asked that this would go to full council tonight. It is a one of the uh, programs that we have. It's a lead certification program. It's not just to go out and check lead-based paint. We actually certify folks to work on lead-based paint and uh, rehab it, things like this. Any any time they disturb lead, lead-based paint or uh, other contractors that come within the Cherokee Nation to do this kind of work, we certify that they've got this training. So that needs to be at EPA pretty soon, and we ask that it go to I'll full council tonight I'll if we could. Okay. Councilor Cobb has moved for approval. Uh, Councilor Buzzard has seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving this resolution as listed, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Resolution passes. Okay. Um, do we have to have a resolution or a motion to take it to full council tonight? No, uh, full okay. council tonight. You just amend the, uh, amend agenda, right? the agenda there. Uh, second item on the uh, new business is a resolution authorizing the Environmental Programs Group to submit an application to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency for Clean Air Act Section 103 funding. I move for approval. Second. I have a, a motion to approve. Councilor Cobb and a second. Councilor Baker. Any discussion? All those in favor for approving the resolution, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Resolution passes. Item number three, we have a resolution authorizing the transfer of title to mutual help housing uh, participant. And Councilor Angler was a sponsor of that. I, I think this is the one that uh, I think Joe, you may be going to sponsor this one. Is that right, Gail? Do you know? Is Linda in the room? Linda, here you go. 
There we go. Okay. This was a, this was an Adair County project, and um, we had put Buell on there. Basically, he was on the old form, and we just didn't take him off. <laughs> and uh, but we had done this in a hurry to try to get Miss Sawney some relief, and uh, we didn't contact Jody or Joe on this, and. Mr. Anglin said that he's willing to sponsor or to let another take the sponsorship okay. that they so desired. All right. So, yes, <coughs> Councilor. Uh, I would be willing to sign on as a co-sponsor with Mr. Anglin if you'd okay. like to stay on. Well, you could be the sponsor. It was just a, a transfer okay. over from another sponsor that I did on some okay. property. So we have some housekeeping that uh, Councilor Crittenden is going to be the sponsor of this resolution. And I'm sure Jody would like to be a co-sponsor, and, and Mr. Anglin can join us too if he'd like. Uh, it's good to get some cooperation and some help across the district. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, but what's with, your, with what's all your preference, said, uh, uh, Councilor Anglin? I just see me taking off. Okay, we'll okay. remove <laughs> Councilor Anglin's name. Okay. And, uh, it may be a bad Council. deal somewhere down the line. Councilor Fishing Hawk's name is, or is not in here to represent. We'll just. Uh, leave Mr. Crittenden's name on there. Mr. Crittenden's name, then, okay. And, uh, so he'll be the sponsor of this resolution. And I don't know where Jody went, but okay. Okay. stick her on there. Jody wants to sponsor there, doesn't Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> put Councilor Fishing Hawk's name on the resolution. She, can she give me a, a thumbs up or something? She gave, she gave okay. me a thumbs up from okay. over there at the computer. All right. She's working with the constituent. Yeah. All right. So um, at, at this time, we have a resolution on the floor. Uh, do we have a motion? Uh, yes. I'd, like, I'd move for the approval of this uh, okay. legislation. Second. We have a motion that has been made by Councilor Critton to approve. <laughs> Second by Councilor Cobb. Any discussion? No discussion. Uh, all those in favor of approving this resolution? To authorize a transfer of title to mutual health housing participant, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion passes for the resolution passes. Okay. Uh, number four on the agenda under new business is a resolution authorizing Cherokee Nation Environmental Program to submit a formal grant application to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency for a municipal solid waste project. Move for its approval. Second. Okay, we have a uh, motion to move for the approval and a second by Councilor Anglin, a second by Councilor Crittenden. Any discussion? All those in favor for passing this resolution say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Resolution passes. Uh, we, next, we have item five as amended on the agenda, and it's a resolution authorizing the Cherokee Nation of Environmental Pro Programs to submit a formal grant application to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency for an Indian General Assistance Program, otherwise known as GAP Grant Package. Mr. Elkins, would you comment on this? Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to ask that we try to amend the agenda this evening, too, if this could go through. This GAP program is kind of a three-tiered three program. We clean up solid waste dumps with it. It helps to build our infrastructure by allowing us to hire personnel for general activities. And there's a few other things that we can do with it, but that, that dump cleanup has really been a good thing. We go out, we clean up these dumps, and we fence the area back off, hopefully so the folks can't back, get back there and dump more stuff. But it's really a good program. We need to get it down there if we could, sir. All right. Do we have a motion for approval? I move for its approval. Second. Councilor Baker, uh, make the motion to approve, seconded by... Councilor Garvin. Any discussion? Councilor Butler? Does the motion also include the full council perspective? Yes, we can amend the agenda tonight to add that. Okay. And no discussion. All those in favor of passing the resolution say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Resolution passes. And we'll move on to announcements. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, may Prairie. I make a motion to amend the agenda? Uh, Mr. Hembry just had it, handed me a resolution that uh, Councilman Cobb is sponsoring uh, for the submission of a grant application to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention for funding for the use of traditional foods and sustainable ecological <laughs> approaches for health okay. promotion. Okay, we have a uh, motion, motion to, amend. to amend the agenda, a seconded by Councilor Baker. Any discussion? Just for a point of uh, explanation, um, 
uh, we have our rules of procedure, which we try not to devi deviate from uh, right. at, at all costs. This resolution needs to be heard tonight. It has not gone through any committee whatsoever. As speaker, she can assign a, uh, a resolution to, to any com uh, committee that the committee uh, chooses to consider. Okay. I think it would be best in to keep informed with our rules of procedure to at least have a committee vote on this resolution, okay. and that's why we. All right, we'll do so. Uh, we have a, a motion and a second to amend the agenda to include this as item six. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Agenda has been amended. We reckon I, we'll probably have. Can we get? Uh, do we need a copy of this uh, resolution, uh, or do we want to? I thought they were already passed out. Have they not been passed out? Okay. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Well, th this is uh, w as I, I'm going to go get copies of it. But you might recognize uh, uh, Council okay. uh, Cobb for an explanation on the resolution. Uh, Council Cobb, would you like to have a copy of it? Okay. After my phone conversation, memory is <laughs> essentially what this is, is is we have to apply for a grant. Uh, it's a traditional foods grant, and if we don't apply for it, by the time we get this to next committee, it's too late. We might as well not even apply. Um, and it's, it's essentially a health promotion um, situation. I know we've been doing some things with farmers markets and those kind of things. And um, uh, one of the things we're looking at is, is um, as we all know, one of our major problems is diabetes within the Cherokee Nation. And this is just one other area that we're trying to attack uh, to uh, attack the, the genetic propensity toward diabetes and, and non-traditional diets. So this grant essentially addresses that key piece of, of uh, what we're trying to accomplish. We need to apply for the grant. If we don't go get it to full council tonight, then we can't apply for the grant. What's the uh, funding for the grant proposal? Water, where? What What is it? Is it? Uh, it is just for the record. Hundred thousand a year. Yeah. Hundred thousand a year for five, five years. years. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, I don't see anything about a match either. Okay. And, and four of the ones that we just approved all ago had no one. Uh, okay. No match. Okay. So, okay. so no matches. Council right. Garvin. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I was just kind of curious. I know it's a lot of tr traditional Cherokee foods, but uh, would that include our cookies out here? In the <laughs> 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 hey, the baker's in the room. You better be yeah. careful. <laughs> we'll, let the, we'll let the experts determine the criteria <laughs> for qualification. Okay. Hey, Mr. Chairman. Councilor Anglin. Uh, this is just a typo with uh, Brad. Is he District 9 now? Is it very... Move him around. <laughs> I don't even know what district I'm in. Mean. <laughs> I don't even see where, where's the notation. The very last page. Okay, in case we need that. I am district A, unless. Okay. I don't think it matters. Yeah, that's the. Uh, <laughs> oh. So we'll get that cleaned up. Any other uh, discussion? Do we have a motion for approval? Had a little time to review. But I will make that motion. Okay. Second. Councilor Cobb makes a motion. We approve. Seconded by Councilor Garvin. Uh, all those in favor for uh, approving this resolution for uh, the grant application to the CDC for <coughs> prevention of uh, for funding, excuse me, for uh, traditional foods and uh, ecological approaches to promote good health. Uh, say aye. Aye. Uh, all those opposed, same sign. Resolution passes. Okay. Any more <laughs> amendments <laughs> to the move. agenda? I move to okay. adjourn. Second. Okay. We have a, a short announcement before we adjourn. If you'll uh, allow me to announce the next meeting time. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> we've got the, uh, yeah, we've got the. Uh, sorry. Sure. June, 16th. June 16th at uh, 4 p.m. Next meeting. No other announcements. We have a motion to adjourn. It's been seconded. All those in favor for adjournment, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Meeting adjourned. Thank you. My name is
Yeah.